channel, you cool cats. This is Mina with a unique series of videos that uh, basically is just going to be me watching the Danganronpa 3, the end of Hope's Peak High School, um, I don't know, anime off of uh, Crunchyroll or VRV or Funimation, whichever way you want to look at it. I'm going to be watching them in release order. So I guess like this is important because I, I did look this up beforehand that you're supposed to watch one of the one of the episodes on one side of the viewing experience and then watch in the other episode. And I don't quite under it's like the future arc and and um, uh, something else despair arc. And so it's just basically going to be going back and forth. Um, I can't obviously like let you guys watch it straight off of my uh, my let's watch or whatever we're gonna call this. But what what I can do is is that I will freeze, pause on on a on a scene or whatever, and kind of describe my thoughts as I'm watching it. Just so that way you guys can experience a little bit what I'm experiencing. And if you want to watch along, you can see the episodes either off of Crunchyroll, um, Funimation, or VRV, which lets you see both sides. So I hope you guys enjoy, and this will be unique for me because I, I actually love watching a lot of anime. So if you guys enjoy this, I don't know, maybe we'll make it... Maybe we'll make it something that we'll do again in the future. But yeah, let's go ahead and um, watch the first episode, which is going to be on the future side. So right away, we are starting off with a crazy beginning. I think I saw Kirigiri and maybe... Um, Asahina standing behind um, Makoto there in, while he's in handcuffs. I actually would want to watch this in, in English, but so that way you guys can kind of see what's being said on the screen at the time I, I went with um, the Crunchyroll or the Japanese version. Um, this guy looks crazy, but it appears that Makoto is under arrest for treason. Oh, I wonder if this has to do with um, Danganronpa 2. Because that would make sense. Right, moving forward. It actually was flashing through all of the Danganronpa 2 characters. And I guess this is while they're in despair and just um, causing the world to become despair. It took me a second to realize that's what it was trying to show. But it's kind of interesting. I actually would have loved to see what the Danganronpa 2 cast was like when they were filled with despair. But I, I kind of don't want to see... Oh man, I'm actually really glad that I played Ultra Despair Girls um, for for this moment because I never would have known what this was about. I would have been like, what? <laughs> Hello, nurse. I'm I'm a little bit confused because I thought, did Fuyuhiko actually lose his eye prior to the whole thing? So immediately something that I've noticed, because it just started doing what I'm guessing is the opening um, theme song for Danganronpa 3, is that like every single character that shot past, it had like this little circle around their hands, as you can see with Makoto right here. And I noticed that some of them were wearing bracelets. It very, it gave me a 999 feeling like very quickly. Um... But I, I was just, I was just thinking to myself, like, yeah, I, okay, so it looks like there may be some, I'm guessing there's going to be a killing game and they're going to have uh, bracelets on them and it's going to be very, 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 very reminiscent of uh, Zero Escape. <laughs> Another thing that I noticed while watching this opening is that each of the characters looks like they're being tortured in some way or fashion and each one of them has like a different torture sequence like, and I'm wondering what is going to happen because I, I've already seen like a couple characters that I know, like I've, I know from like, you know, the previous Dongarumpas, but, um, yeah. So like in this example, this guy looks like he's being tied up and there's like electricity on it and it looks, I don't know, looks like he's restrained pretty, pretty hardcore. Um, but I saw like, uh, Asahina had like a, a dagger laying on her with blood on her stomach or something like that. And that's that's kind of concerning. 
You know, earlier I was thinking he almost looked like um, uh, Narukami from Persona 4. And because I was thinking to myself, like, he kind of looked like you. When I saw this scene go past, I was thinking to myself, like, is he trying to summon his Persona? And I know that's Persona 3, but I was just thinking to myself, like, he's got an evoker and he's trying to summon his Persona. I'm sorry, that's inappropriate. Let's move on. <laughs> Uh, apparently, uh, Makoto also wants to summon his persona. Again, inappropriate. Moving on. Oh, man. Okay, I have a feeling. So, like, the the end of the song uh, went here, and it has, like, this little remaining survivors, 16 people. So I have a feeling that this number is going to drop down as the as the episodes go on, which is really cool. I love that. Um, so... I feel like this opening sequence had like a lot of hidden nods, so I'm I'm kind of interested to see how this plays out. I'm I'm I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to rewatch like the opening opening after every episode to see if like it was had like some hidden clues as to what was going to happen in the episodes. I really like it when animes do that, when they when they actually have more to their openings outside of just uh just being you know just a catchy opening like i absolutely love the jojo openings because i there's so much that you can get out of them so let, let's continue <laughs> so the title of episode one is third times the charm okay so let's look for something happening the third time or is this just a reference of the third killing game or is it the fact that this is the third Danganronpa. I don't know, but third time's the charm. Okay, so already we have an interesting cast of characters. This guy has like a bowl mask on his head. The Great Gozu. Interesting. Okay, holy smokes. You guys won't know this if you are if you haven't seen it yourself, but this guy on the, the right, um, uh, Mr. Bandai, has the most high pitch voice ever. It sounds like it's being voiced by a really, really young and cutesy Japanese girl. Like, quite literally, this girl on the left has a deeper voice. <laughs> and that's saying something because she has a pretty, uh, pretty high pitched girly voice too. Uh, this guy is sleeping on that girl's lap and she's feeding him food. It looks ridiculous. So what I've gotten out of the first um, minute of the episode is really that these characters do not all get along and do not agree on the same thing. And a lot of them are very suspicious looking and they're all part of Future Foundation, I'm guessing. And they're trying to root out all of the despair in the world, um, but they don't all seem to be on the same page. They also have, um, like, on top of, on top of, like, like, the characters all looking pretty interesting from, from the get-go is that the lighting in here really brings out, um, a lot of their features that makes them all look kind of mysterious, creepy, suspicious, like, they all have, like, this weird look. There's this one girl who has, like, a, I think it's a girl, who has a, uh, mask on her face, looks pretty wild. I don't really have much to add on to here, but take a look at how they all look like when they're filled with despair. <laughs> I like how the, uh, I, I just, I don't know. I like how they, they all look, um, look just a little bit more crazy. Some of them don't look, I, I guess the thing is, is that they, they did age beyond like what they were in, uh, the actual game proper, but some of them look like, I don't know. They look crazy. I love it. I love how crazy they look. The one thing that it seems that most of the people here gathered agree upon is that they they feel that Makoto has betrayed them. So I don't know how many people actually don't have that feeling. We'll know later on, I suppose. Okay, this guy straight up apologized that he had to arrest Makoto for um, because he was the hero of... of defeating Junko and Ashima, and then sucker punches him. Like, screw you! <laughs> so right away, a lot of them are making their stance that they don't like him. Uh, <laughs> basically, they they knocked 
Makoto again in the, like, a p sucker punch to the head. I don't know what to call it. And then they tried to, like, throw a knife at Asahina's face. So, well, we, we already know that, like, <laughs> these guys are at least disapproving of them. It seems that this, uh, this bull guy is uh, at least wanting to hear Makoto speak before, before knocking the crap out of him. <laughs> Ah, Kirigiri ended up being Nagi's boss. Um, it's interesting. They they said that Ali isn't in the same division as them, which is interesting. So uh, they didn't want her to get completely involved. But I, I really like Kirigiri. She was originally my favorite Danganronpa character when the games for when the game first came out. Oh, okay. So. Um, this lady, I, I wasn't sure what she was, um, but apparently she's the teacher of the class of students um, that were the remnants of despair. So that's that's interesting. So maybe she's at least on Makoto's side on this. This guy looks like he hasn't slept in forever. An earthquake and bodies appear. That's great. <laughs> Well, the building's under attack, and of course the first person they go to suspect is Makoto. <laughs> yeah, a black and white ball rolls at your feet in the middle of a uh, conversation with everybody who's part of Future Foundation here. It's totally, totally going to be an okay thing that happens next, I'm sure. My bad, it wasn't just a black and white ball, it was a black and white ball with a little, uh, smiley face. <laughs> well, that looks like a bracelet on your hand, so I think I was right in guessing that this was gonna be like a 999 sort of thing. Dang, it even has a timer! Uh, two hours until... what? Two hours until someone dies, or two hours until... Everyone dies. What's gonna What's gonna happen here? <laughs> there it is, the Monokuma reveal, of course. <laughs> oh man, and I'm sure that they're all going to assume Makoto did this. There it is. If it's happened twice, it'll happen three times. So I guess that's what it means. Uh oh. Yeah, where is she? I, I actually now remember. I didn't see her across the room when they panned around. Oh no, I heard a drip sound. That's a bad sign. Oh man, she was hanging upside down in the chandelier. Um, oh crap, that's that's a bad time. Also, the uh, the guy who looks like um, <laughs> you Narukami. I think he was sweet on this lady. Uh, so I don't think I think things are about to get really bad. Wow, what a way, what a way to start the entire, uh, the entire, um, anime series is just, like, let's, let's have someone die right away. And this person was actually kind of the, the one I was kind of the most interested in because she was supposed to be the teachers of, or she was supposed to be the teacher of, uh, the, you know, Danganronpa 2's class. And I was kind of interested in hearing, like, her thoughts and now she's dead and that's, really sad. Whoa. I like how the episode really does like hit out with the this is the last of the saga and it's really like this is the end of you and me here. Even though technically Monokuma continues on <laughs> into Dongarumpa V3 but it doesn't matter because this is this is like you know putting an end cap to the the saga between these two. So yeah, that was a really good uh, first episode of the Danganronpa 3. I'm really excited to see what happens next. I don't have all the characters' names memorized or, or all the characters' faces or anything like that, so I, I don't have an opinion to say about a lot of them. I will say that the uh, the director, the guy, the older guy with the glasses, um, it's real hard because what what anime likes to do is they like to make those glasses obscured and like make them white out and it looks really suspicious when they do that so he looks pretty suspicious um the guy 
I don't remember his name. The one who I, I'm going to end up calling Narakami <laughs> because I'm like, he looks like he looks like the protagonist from uh, Persona 4. Um, that guy, I don't know what to say. He seems pretty... I mean, it's clear that he really, really, really hates despair, but, um, yeah, I think his, I think his girlfriend just died, and I don't think he's gonna be a reasonable man. Like, he walked into the place, and he immediately, like, walked onto the, the table that they were all discussing on, and just, like, walked up to the chairman and just, like, called him out on not being, like, you know, aggressive about the despair or something like that. Uh, the guy with the coat who immediately started punching Makoto, you know, I, I don't know what to say about him. He seems pretty short-tempered. Um, there was the guy with the bull mask who was at least wanting to hear Makoto out. Uh, there was the guy with the knives, or I don't know what they were. They could have been shurikens. I, have no, I, I wasn't paying attention. That kind of like tossed them. Quickly, he was the one that was sleeping on that girl's lap who was feeding him some something, I don't know, in her lap. And uh, I don't know what to say about those two, but yeah, they seemed pretty aggressive as well. And there was the lady with the mask seemed to immediately identify that, you know, she, she was talking about making a truth serum. And then she also was the first to notice that, like, the sleeping gas was going to be instantaneous. So I don't know if that's suspicious or not that she was so quick to know that sort of thing. Or maybe she's just like some, I don't know, maybe super duper high school level. Or obviously she's out of high school, but whatever. She might might have been like some sort of like, I don't know, scientist. <laughs> I don't know. And, um, what else? There was that high pitched, girly sounding guy with the really, really nice looking teeth. <laughs> I don't know what to say about him either. Um, I'm sad that the teacher died. I really would have liked to know more about her, but, you know. I guess that's I guess that's how Donga Rumpa always likes to go is they kill off a lot of the characters that I really want to know right away. And then I never get to know about them. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this, I hope you guys look forward to the next episode of Danganronpa 3. And just remember that if you want to watch along with me, uh, just check it out on either like Crunchyroll, Funimation, or VRV. This isn't an ad for them, but I do like supporting the streaming services we have out there. Uh, I, I suppose if your country doesn't have that, I don't know, I don't know where you might go for that. But that it it's for at least the country that I'm in. So hopefully you guys have seen it already or are watching it now yourselves and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye!